All right, so today we have a 2011 Volkswagen Jetta, 2.5 liter, inline five cylinder, and uh, got a check engine light. It's been coming on and off for quite a while. Down here on the scanner, the one that's highlighted, manifold barrow, pressure sensor, G71, implausible signal, P0106. We're gonna ignore the rest of those uh, codes for right now. They are subsidiary since I have everything pulled up part on the engine and uh, didn't get the captured data for the specific P1, P0106 code before I uh, started this video. So the rest of the codes are relevant. The only one we're looking for right now is that first one that's highlighted. So uh, on these motors, just like most Volkswagen motors, they have a lot of PCV issues. They uh, tend to ingest oil. The two fives aren't all that bad. Uh, the one eight turbos are pretty good. The two liter turbos are notorious for it, but uh, this guy after 130,000 miles on this it uh, started becoming an issue so uh, what the big problem is is uh, as you've seen possibly in other videos we got the map sensor down here I actually have it up on the intake right now it's this guy right here all right it goes down right about down Let's see if I can get some light on it for you yeah there we go so that hole right there is where the map sensor is going to go into it's right below the intake and uh, a quick check on this thing, which isn't all that quick, maybe 20 minutes or so of taking things apart. Uh, if you pull the sensor out, and like I did, if you find some oil, it's a little shiny. Kind of see the uh, brownish color on that sensor there. Uh, if you find any oil residue on that whatsoever, then you're pretty good at that's what your problem's gonna be. What happens is, this guy right here, okay, it's a cover right here that we're gonna replace, and inside is a rubber diaphragm with a spring on it it's gonna look like this guy good old Dorman part number right here you can get a new one from a auto parts store not everybody's got it but most of the places have it be able to get a pretty cheap 30 a couple bucks 30 bucks 25 bucks if you got a discount but basically what we got going on here is this is gonna be a new cover clips right on. The old one might break taking it off, no big deal. You have a new cover right here. And then you're going to have a new uh, new rubber diaphragm. All right, there's a plastic side that the spring is going to be sitting on. All right, that goes in there and then uh, we'll have a new spring on top. I don't know if the spring's stronger or whatever, but uh, regardless there might be a rip on that on that PCV valve. We haven't really gotten to that point yet. But that's what's going on. That valve starts leaking. You get oil passed uh, into the intake. And another easy trick, even before you pull out that uh, that map sensor down there, if you stick your hand down in that hole for the intake where the throttle body used to be, you can go down, swishle your finger around a little bit. If you pull up any oil down there, that's most likely the, the culprit. Oil gets down into the bottom where that uh, map sensor sits. Unfortunately, map sensor sits all the way at the bottom, upside down like that, and it just uh, gets coated in oil messes with the signal that the computer thinks it should be seeing says it's implausible signal and uh, you're good to go uh, setting that check engine light on you so pretty pretty straightforward I'm gonna be pulling the engine cover off this guy sitting over there got four rubber mounts for it. one two three back here four over here gently pulling them so you're not ripping the boot all right once you get that guy off you're gonna want to get your uh, intake boot off got a uh, band strap right on the throttle body here all right you'll have another one on the uh, the engine cover that you can just leave on the cover once you take it loose this will pop off the cut this end will pop off the cover this end pop off the throttle body You've got a couple clamps down here little plastic jobs for the uh, breather system on the air intake this guy was pretty handy getting this guy off this is my uh, intake piece that goes down down in here a couple screws hold it on there in there hold it right up into the radiator there t25 t30 and t20 those are the torques you'll need for it i didn't need any extensions I use that short guy right there all about that size got a set of them right there they'll get the job done you also got your throttle body here that's going to be sitting right about in there it's too bad of the way here the hose right here the breather hose for uh the uh i believe it's going to be coolant running in there not 100% sure, but it comes across. You don't have to disconnect that. Leave that hooked up. You want to take the plug off. 
off the bottom down there once you get the uh, throttle body loose. Four bolts, take them out, goes into plastic. So just take it easy taking them out, you don't wanna go crazy. Also that gasket in there, don't bother replacing it unless you plan on taking it out for whatever reason. Once you take that out of that groove there, it's probably gonna be misshapen and be needed replaced. But uh, if you're gonna leave it in the groove there, it'll probably be fine, won't be any issues. And if so, it's not really a big deal. It's easy to change and cheap to get. So that's about it. You can try to stick a rag down in the intake hole down in there, try to clean things up a little bit. But even then, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to do so. My best bet would be to, uh, if you can, put a towel down in there, maybe a paper towel, something that you're not gonna get all uh, caught up in there and whatnot, fibers and pieces and stuff. Mop, mop up as much as you can. You could probably clean up the map sensor a little bit, put a little bit of uh, contact cleaner in there, spray it off, blow it off some air, compressed air, clean it all up, get it done. This PCV valve here, you're just gonna pop this cover off. You can see the little tabs up top here. They'll pop off, work your way around it gently. Make sure you don't break the receiving little tabs in these in these grooves here. You don't wanna break that. This cover piece you're not too worried about. So, you know, you got a new one over there in that from that dorming kit. So pop it off. You'll see the internals in there. Replace that. Put it all back together. Tighten everything down. Don't go nuts. And uh, should be good to go. We'll uh, clear the codes. Get rid of that code and uh, test drive it and see. So it took a while for it to come back for me uh, whenever I would clear it. So probably take a couple runs before you figure out what's going on with it. But stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully it won't be working on my turret anymore.